Welcome to round four of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of November 7th. I'm Terry Morrow, and I'm here with Katherine Holeko. Hello. And Nicole Eridix. Hi there. As moms of teens and young adults, we've survived those little kid days, yet we're still rethinking the decisions we've made all through our kids' lives and worrying about what's going on right now. Today is Thursday, which means it's time to give in to our obsessing. And today we're obsessing about absolutely essential items. Nicole, did you see something about this? Yes, I was surprised to read that King Charles, it sounds so strange saying that. Right. <laughs> King Charles won't go anywhere without his teddy bear and his custom toilet seat. So <laughs> I don't know about you, but... Um, I want to know more about the toilet yeah, seat. What, <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> what makes it so special? He travels. And where can we order one? So apparently he travels with his own custom toilet seat as well as his childhood teddy bear. And um, Well, you know, if you're a king and you can't have your own personal toilet seat with you at all times, then what good is royalty? <laughs> right. Exactly. So I have questions. Like, do you think that he... He has like a travel toilet seat that comes with him. Like when he's at home in one of his several homes, he <laughs> must have the toilet seat that he prefers in all those homes. And then he has another one that has to come with him whenever he's staying away from home. Is that what we think this is about? I'm thinking that okay. it's like it's like a travel toilet seat. That's <laughs> it's it's like those little travel shampoo bottles that <laughs> is it like the the paper toilet seat cover but it's no. like a little bit bigger and thicker <laughs> so that the toilet seat is comfortable for him and he knows that no other buns have touched it <laughs> i think so could you do you imagine what kind of packaging it would be in like i just imagine it being in like a fancy hat bag or something the like. royal toilet seat. <laughs> all right forget you the topic what? we're just gonna be talking about charles's toilet seat for the next 15 minutes but seriously and someone would have to be responsible for that for like Somebody setting it care. up and carrying it oh that's could an honored imagine? duty they do that the toilet seat valet. <laughs> That's right. In the same article, it says that he also has his shoelaces ironed. And so. it says that the teddy bear that he carries around with him, only his childhood nanny, mm -hmm. who is still alive, mm -hmm. is the only one who's allowed to, like, patch up the teddy bear if it needs, if it needs attention. Yeah. Well, that's kind of adorable. What's going to happen? She can't live forever. <laughs> and he brings his own chef to friends' houses for dinner. I, I would do that. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> I mean, any of my friends want to do that? Y'all just go right, <laughs> right ahead. He has to make sure that no one is poisoning him. Oh, that's right. Never thought so about that. He has to bring his own chef. I thought his friends were just all bad cooks. Remember in the Downton Abbey movie, the first movie, it was about the king coming to visit Downton Abbey and the the entire staff the king traveled with like his whole staff oh oh yeah and the downton abbey staff basically the whole point of the movie spoiler alert was they figured out a way to sort of gently incapacitate the entire <laughs> royal staff so that they could be the ones who got to like make the food and isn't that sort of like i don't know treasonous or something <laughs> you get in some serious trouble for that well that's why i said gently incapacitate <laughs> <laughs> they like got them drunk and got them like sprained ankles or whatever so yeah hmm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what did they do that do the king's the king's royal toilet seat did they uh oh they, that wasn't covered in the movie it wasn't covered in the movie they no didn't, they didn't like sneak it off for their own use no <laughs> Uh, anyway, but uh, you know, well, to return to the real topic, yes. I do know yes. some people like bring their own pillow when they travel. I do. Hmm. Okay. I do. I do. Whenever I, I used to people. go on bus trips with the skating team, one of the moms would bring a pillow case and put it over the bus yes. seat oh. so hmm. that it would be, you know, to make sure that she wasn't picking up any anything that someone else oh. left there. I thought you were going to say the pillow in the hotel. No, she would She would use it on the bus seat. Hmm. Oh. It's interesting. Don't they... 
spray down the no maybe I'm well because you know it's you know. it's soft it's it's like yeah well, they're like fabric ones right, right. yeah right. not the vinyl no not the vinyl right so and I've you know you sometimes read like celebrities or whatever like I bring a candle and I bring family pictures and <laughs> I don't do that but I then again I don't go for weeks at a time yes I'm and they have helped to carry some of that stuff right right yeah we gotta we gotta we gotta fit everything in a minivan you know what <laughs> only so much we can take that's right we're not taking the toilet seat <laughs> <laughs> though i'm intrigued now and I, I don't like sitting on toilet seats in hotels who knows no, who's been there me neither I, I my own my own personal yeah i mean this sounds like a business opportunity it does <laughs> Man. something that's in between a piece of tissue you know uh -huh. and mm -hmm. an actual you know, permanent toilet seat. Yeah. But some yeah. other, like I'm picturing folded up, you know, sort of like a cardboardy type thing. Or like, like a thin vinyl. Oh, it could be like what they put oh. in the, uh, the <laughs> poop in a box colon test. Uh, colonoscopy <laughs> well test. we do not know what that is because we didn't do that yeah we get and real we got real things that you're supposed to put on top so i guess it could be we that got, but that didn't look comfortable we got real it twice <laughs> cancer free anyway um I'm trying to think what we bring i might have brought a pillow when i was a kid i seem to remember doing that my daughter has a little stuffed dog that she brings with her everywhere like including to work it stays in the car, but she has it in the car mm -hmm. with her when she drives anywhere. Mm -hmm. Just, it's her buddy, yeah. her traveling companion. I might have done stuff yeah, like that I don't... when I was younger. Yeah, I mean, I think when kids are little, you know, it's... Yeah, well, You definitely have to bring... I know. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely have to bring the comfort, the comfort item. Yeah. Um, if you want them to sleep in a, in a strange place. Right. Mm -hmm. And then if it gets left behind, it's a major tragedy. Yes, but that is how we got. We kicked the pacifier habit by <laughs> not bringing it on a trip. Oops. By accident. We, it was really not on purpose. And there were no but stores really? where you were going where you could buy one? Well, <laughs> <laughs> we just didn't bring that up. So we just, once we realized it had happened, we decided to capitalize. They were young and, and naive. They didn't realize. No, they didn't. Everywhere. I mean, they, he was three. He didn't know. Yeah. So it worked. It worked yeah. real well, wow. actually. <laughs> Deception. Mm -hmm. We really didn't do it on purpose. But <laughs> once we realized that 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 had happened we were like well we can't we can't miss this opportunity right so, hmm. that's good well i know i don't go anywhere without my reading glasses these ah. days uh -huh. oh my goodness very important oh my goodness i would be totally it would just be not good and what did we do before we had a phone that had a flashlight on it? Oh, right. For when you're reading, like trying to read something. And <laughs> even with the reading glasses, you still need more yeah. light. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Still That's so true. Clip on book lights or you know, used to have like clip on key ring flashlights too. When you don't yeah, have the flashlights on your phone. Has so all of all those industries uh, faded away? Yeah. I they may have. I wonder. Phone can't replace a toilet seat, though. Oh, <laughs> uh, do you think that there's probably a royal phone charger? And <laughs> <laughs> nobody touch my phone charger. <laughs> That's right. He can say that too. You know. <laughs> That's one thing that you know. Whenever I make a packing, if my kids ask me to make a packing list for them, yeah. like. It starts with chargers. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Do not forget those because I'm right. not giving you mine. No. That's hmm. very true. But I don't, I'm not, I can't think of, you know, I bring my own toiletries, but I'm not to the point of like, I have to bring my own shampoo and stuff. Like I bring... Mm -hmm. Stuff if it's provided at a hotel, it's then like you can you can flirt with other shampoos when you're at the hotel without betraying your home <laughs> shampoo. Right. Right? Yeah, you might find something. <laughs> That's right. Special. Yeah. 
I have a little tryst with the mm. uh, <laughs> fancy shampoo. See, right. they never have enough conditioner, so I always bring my own conditioner. Mm. I can. I need a lot of conditioner. Yeah, so. I mean, sometimes those are, but you can ask for more. Yeah. Yeah, but when do you do that? Like when you're in mid shower, right? Oh, <laughs> no, you have to figure it out in advance. Yeah, <laughs> that would be too late. And then, of course, you know, if you're in those hotels that don't have room service, and you're like, oh my gosh, I go down well, to I don't the want room service in the actual shower anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just so you plan close ahead your of time. eyes and put it on the counter. <laughs> I did in the spring. I stayed at a hotel that didn't have shampoo and conditioner, and so. But luckily, it was right across the street from a Target. So, I went to that Target a whole bunch of times. (laughs) You know what I'm seeing now because I um, have been doing a little bit more traveling than usual. But I'm seeing now that hotels are doing away with the little mini. Yeah, they have, uh, like, the wall dispenser. The pumps, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> seeing that a lot more now. I don't mind huh. that. It's easier to I get know. to. But, but it's hard to open. in there, like, Nair or something. <laughs> <laughs> you think somebody's sabotaging like, the pumps. I, I don't like these, like, you know, community... <laughs> community shampoos and conditioners. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. Mm. Well, you don't. Like, what if somebody puts some, I don't know, <laughs> gross things that people can do. <laughs> Just kind of, oh. So Nicole travels with her own dispenser and she <laughs> sticks it on the oh, wall I'm temporarily. Hooked <laughs> I'm hooked up. I got all my stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I'm fairly low. What's the word I'm looking for? Low maintenance yeah. when it comes to insisting on certain things when I travel. Yeah. Hmm. I always intend to bring my own tea bags oh. and oh. then I never do. <laughs> so then I'm just stuck with the Lipton plain old boring black, which is uh-huh. what they have at the hotel. Yeah. I bring my own creamer. Of course you do. I have my, <laughs> my international delight creamer. Ooh. Very nice. And um, what's the other thing that I always make sure I have? Oh, my little my little backrest, especially if I'm on a plane. Oh, that's like I have nice. a little blow up lumbar support pillow. Oh. You should see me on a plane. I am like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pull, I've got my backpack and I'm pulling out things left, right, and center. <laughs> I've got my little lumbar support and my little blanket and my, yeah, I'm like, and you're you know, I got my snacks. Disinfecting wipes. Yeah, I've got my wipes. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing to bring. Mm-hmm. I bet oh, Charles yeah. has some of those too. Yes. Yeah. I am, yeah. But he has he has a person to yes <laughs> apply the them, <laughs> who does the actual wiping with the wipes. Yes, sure. <laughs> disinfect this room. <laughs> Someone I know on Facebook just went on an extremely long plane trip and bought one of those like inflatable things that you put. I don't know if you put it on the tray table or you just put it on your lap, but then you can like lean forward and sleep on it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Is it the one where you put it over your head? No, no. It's like if you picture the tray table and then you had like a triangular wedge Mm. pillow on top of it. So you could just lean forward and sleep as if you were sleeping like on your stomach. Hmm. You know what? The best sleep I've ever had on a plane was when I leaned forward and I slept like, I think I put a coat or something on top of the tray Mm -hmm. table. And I, that was the best sleep I've ever had on a plane. She said it was, it worked amazing. So there you go. Yeah. She said she was made fun of by her <laughs> companion, but <laughs> she got the last laugh because she slept for like eight hours. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it. Well, and sometimes when I go on trips, I have to take my podcast mic. Oh, yes. And my that's headphones. right. Headphones. Very important. Mm-hmm. Yes. Do you have a, a separate, uh, uh, like, attendant to put your <laughs> podcast equipment? To carry my mic. Bring a tech with you to hook everything correctly? Plug it in. 
<laughs> block all the windows and the vents. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go around to all the neighboring rooms and say, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Put that little sign on the door that says, you know, recording right. or do uh, not disturb on air <laughs> on air that's what i was thinking on of. air <laughs> well we hope you never leave home without us <laughs> that's right and that is it for today's round four tune in tomorrow when we'll share our roundabout roundup of things that we've been using or enjoying lately that we think deserve a shout out find all our episodes at parentingroundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat.